Welcome back to Let's back. Fly VFR. And if you're looking to make your flight sim or any other game look a little bit more crisp and clear and a little bit more vibrant, then today I've got a tip for you that'll get you there. Now, if you're new, please feel free to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And if you're a returning viewer, then thanks for coming back. And always, please hit those like buttons. It helps me so much if you take a second and do that. Let's go have a look and see how we can make your sim look more vibrant. Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. All in X Plane 11. Props, jets, and much more. All done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you. Welcome everybody into X Plane 11, and we're at the entrance or the base of runway 05 at Adelaide International Airport. And what I wanted to show you today is something that I found um, to just improve the overall look of X Plane 11. And it doesn't need a plug-in, and it doesn't need any any money. Okay, it's absolutely free, and it's so simple to make your X-Plan 11 look just a little bit more vibrant. To me, it currently looks a little bit lacklustre. It just lacks that little bit of vibrance and a little bit of colour in it. I'll take you up a little bit higher so we can look further. It will be a little bit quieter from the engine of the, the Cessna running below me. So, what can we do? Let's just go down here and let's pull up. And now normally you will find it here. There it is. The NVIDIA settings. Now if you have a Radeon card or an AMD card, um, I would suggest that you will have something very similar. Now what I would suggest to you guys, instead of going out getting reshade, um, which does seem to cause people a lot of trouble, come into here. Set to use NVIDIA. Now if you want to with the NVIDIA settings, you can set this up so it, I think you can set it up so it will only affect uh, X-Plane 11, but I'm not 100% sure. I think this is very much more a, a general setting, so it's going to apply to everything. But I haven't found that as a negative at all. It's really good. So, let's just adjust it while we're here. Now, one of the biggest things, you know, it, I think it lacks colour a little bit. It just needs a little bit more of a, just needs to pop just a little bit more without being totally over the top. So if you grab your digital vibrance or whatever's equivalent in your AMD card and just slide it along a little. I found that you get about there. That seems pretty good. I've had a bit more. Maybe that's a little over the top, but um, maybe back here around about the, in the high 70s here just makes that little bit of difference now brightness um you can have a look and, and everyone's going to have a different point of view on what's right for them but you can just add a little brightness if you think you need it and you contrast just check that until it just looks more natural to the eye um gamma let's have a look don't need to do much is there that just darkens a little bit if you can see so leaving that around normal I think is fine and you hue will you want purple sky no I don't really and it just goes from one extreme to other so I don't really understand the hue part of that so um, what does it say uh, it does give you a description at the bottom what it's going to do okay so but look that's that's all I recommend. Very quick little video. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to apply that because I like it. Give that a moment. Okay, I'm just going to put that away. Now let's hop back into the aircraft. Now, what you might notice on here is if you go from off to on or you do your adjustment when you're sitting here in the cockpit, your oranges here and your blues and the red switch, your red 
mixture and you sort of, these just pop out a little bit more they, they don't stand out like a glowing light but it just gives you that little bit more presence let me pop it up again let me bring the Nvidia control panel back again and let's let's reduce it um, back to normal and do it in the cockpit as well okay so restore defaults apply that so it takes a moment so yes it's still red it's still there but I don't think it has that um, doesn't look quite as real as it could do. So again, we go back to use NVIDIA settings so you can make the changes. Now, I just want a minute to put that over there a little. Let's move the digital vibrance up now. Just watch it change slowly. And it, to me, it looks quite nearly black and white grey, you know. It doesn't quite have the impact that it could have. So let's bring this up. I'm just going to tap it up on the keyboard. Just look at your blues. You don't want them to all of a sudden just throw themselves at you out of the out of the cockpit. To me, that's I like that. I like that there. Look outside now. We've got some red over there. There's a little point. It's not much. So I'm just going to go back so it doesn't stand out like a, a glowing light. And just set your balances up a little bit better here. Contrast. Just click on it. Use your arrow keys. Just have a look. You can just move it. Remember, you can always go back. See, that's, to me, it's just starting to white out a little bit there, so. That's starting to darken. I don't like that. Back here. It's, it's very subtle, isn't it, guys? And your brightness, just check that out. Now that's starting to, like, at that uh, mist in front of it, if you like, to me. They're just a little bit too white, so. Just have a look. That's that's the norm. And uh, let's have a look. We've got some aircraft coming down to to visit us. So I'm again. I'm going to reapply that again. That's good. I'm going to put that away. Just grab the camera, and then we'll look left. Anybody coming to take off? So we have a little aircraft waiting. That one's not looking too bad. Let's zoom in. Have a look at the colours on the aircraft. Again. The colours are not as defined, I'm sure they've been more defined on a, even on an old aircraft, but anyway. So, that's what I have for you guys. Give it a try, have a look, see if you uh, you like it, and you can always go back, isn't it a great thing? And no FPS hit, you haven't got a plug-in to worry about, you've got nothing else. So, hope that's helpful for you. Give it a try, let me know in the comments what you think, and... Uh, Thanks for coming back to Let's Fly VFR. If you're new here, please give us a couple of likes and bash that subscribe button if you like what you see. And if you're back for another toast with us, thanks for returning. And I'll catch you very soon in another Let's Fly VFR video. Make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you.